to me of, uh, it sounds like the spacecraft has given... We'll learn about the chemical composition exactly. of yes, Ganymede. Exactly. That's what we're really after. Well, I don't know how many people know this. And what we have here is an incredible picture that Jeff was referring to earlier, taking uh, with the uh, color camera on uh, New Horizons, a color filter that isolates the methane band. Just a, and down here at the bottom, in the south pole, you're seeing a hood of small particles created by pr precipitation of charged particles into the upper atmosphere. And now you're seeing all these black spots, which are, look like measles, but they're really relatively cloud-free regions in the atmosphere of Jupiter, where you're seeing very deep. And what happens is the light essentially disappears from view, is completely absorbed by methane uh, that permeates the Jupiter atmosphere. As we go further north towards the equatorial region, you see these giant plumes to the left, wave-like structures. Uh, you see this in, towards the center, what looks to be almost like cirrus clouds, and that's what they are. These are clouds that are shredded apart by these high-velocity winds in Jupiter's atmosphere. That little bright spot near the center there, that's another thunderhead, these, these storm systems that develop over the period of, of a couple of Jupiter days. And then as we go to the north, we actually see the north temperate belt, uh, that little thin uh, strip that's going across. The northern polar region looks more mottled. There's not as much activity in the northern uh, region of Jupiter. Um, but... Now we just go back out and see the big picture once again. There's just so much detail in these images. You have the, the great red spot, and you can see the contrast in color, how much ruddier the, the little red spot is compared to the, to the uh, storm system below it. And that are these three clumps following Adrosphia, and you can see them coming around again. Uh, these are recently formed material. We think an impact event struck the ring system in the last several months, and these clumps are the consequence of that impact event. This is... Another view of the Tvashtar plume, uh, you see the night side of Io lit up by Jupiter, the day side lit up by the sun. And if we zoom in on the plume here, you'll see this beautiful image of the particles cascading down onto the night side, it reminds me of a waterfall. You really see the three-dimensional structure of the plume here. And then a bright glow right in the center, which is the, the hot lava that's glowing at the core of this volcano. We, we think we don't understand the mechanism, the details of how that works.